Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and now I will show you the mini album that is in the last suitcase. So, we open it up. Take this out of the way. So this also is made as an arrow and uh, in the end of the video I will show you how you can create the shape for this. And um, this is really <laughs> grungy and I wanted it to look uh, a bit steampunk and uh, very old and uh, grunge and all together. So we'll try to tell you a bit of what I've done here. Um, I uh, bounded it with a new ruler binding from Tim Holtz and uh, this was a bit uh, too short the screws here so I had to get some who was a bit longer because uh, you see it's uh, pretty thick here and between each page I've um, put in a um, in, um, uh, chipboard piece so it can build up a bit so I can show you here I have a piece left so I made them glued two together, like so. So, and on the end here is a dangle, and a, give you a close up here some gears and a key that I've rusted, and some. Uh, this is a bottle cap that I um, uh, also rusted, and uh, yeah, some old things here, and uh, some chain and. Uh, a clock key here that's embossed and uh, the clock here is uh, embossed and also the spinners and uh, this is um, the pocket watch die the small one in from movers and shapers and here I uh, take the corners that I, I've cut out for, for the suitcases so I had some left so I used it on the end here and here is a moustache with uh, some uh, bead or what uh, used this Martha Stewart uh, glass micro beads. And um, here I've taken some uh, robots, tell your story. And um, here it says enjoy the journey. And this is also a die from Tim Holtz. And uh, I've embossed it and went over with uh, some robots, metallics and yeah, different things. So, and I have some, ta uh, the, it's acetate here, and I have some tags inside here, and an old picture, and uh, just for fun, really, you can uh, do some journaling here. And um, I can also tell you the paper I used. It's uh, the French industrial paper from Tim Holtz, and it's in used lights. And I also used some uh, from the new 8x8 and also some other uh, older papers, but uh, mainly this stack here. So I really loved working with this uh, paper, so fun. So then we can see on top here, I have a little arrow here. Cut out this and uh, here are some rusty um, gears and uh, I'm not sure what this is called, but here I uh, did a lot of uh, techniques on this one until I was uh, satisfied. And um, some uh, crackle accent on top here. And here I got the clock from Linda, so thank you so much Linda. And I also used uh, rust here. And um, if you didn't see my previous videos, it's uh, these med mediums here. Patina, ID Patina, and uh, this I got from Linda, and uh, she bought it here in Norway, but I think you can get it all over. So uh, she told me she had seen it uh, other places also. So this is iron, and this is who make it rust, and this is uh, um, a finish to take over, so it doesn't continue to rust. So that was that one. And it's hanging here. I have a it says a story inside here, and it's uh, stickers from Tim Holtz, sticker letters. And I take crackle accent over. 
and uh, Tim Holtz key here. So most of these uh, things you see in the album is from Tim Holtz, but uh, also use some spellbinders and some stuff I had. And this clip here also I have embossed. So it holds together with a... Uh, like so. And uh, now comes the challenge to open it and see if I can manage here to show you. But here is uh, the first pitches. See if I'm in frame here. Yeah. And here is a um, pocket watch die and it's hanging here from a chain. And it says it's all in per perspective. And uh, you can put a photo inside here. And this is a ribbon. So, and a spinner here. And this is from another paper line from Tim Holtz, the clock. So you can put some photos or journaling. And here it says, it's the little things that make life big. So, and um, this gear is here, it's uh, on the edge die. And uh, also put on some more gears here. And uh, this is a spellbinder. And here is the pen nib. And uh, this is an old uh, clock key. So this is really vintage. So here we have um, a, a finger or a hand that's pointing to the clock here. And um, uh, this can be open so it closes with this one. And it's uh, magnets under here. I used a lot of magnets and this is also magnetic. So and this is a new spellbinder style. So, and also this is a spellbinder style and it says the journey is the destination. So, and this clip also can be taken off. So, and this is just plain, oh, I stamped on the back here. Life is what happens to us while we are making other plans. So, and it opens like so. So here are some tags with some gears and a clock here and a hat and stamped from these tickets here. And this was a tag from the paper line. So this goes inside behind here. Like so, and closes up with this one. So I am also a tag inside here. So it says postcard and this is the new topper um, tags from Tim Holtz. So here I take some rub-ons here and there. So just fasten it here. So now comes the challenge to show you. I have to bend out <laughs> the lower part here, like so. And uh, this is also a cutout from the paper. And it's fastened with uh, magnets here. And here are some uh, tags. Goes behind this uh, stamped image. And it opens here. And here it says, Courage is being yourself every day in a world that expects you to be someone else. So. And here is a film strip that I embossed and also take this, uh, um, what's this called, um, I have it here, frosted film behind here. And also the moustache that I have embossed and some tags. And so here, this is a cutout from the paper, and also a tag. I left this uh, open so we can slide in under here. So. And uh, on the other side here, here I made a pocket so this way. So tag inside here. Uh, impossible is often the untried and that's so true. So just playing on the back. So here you can place some photos over 
and here is a tag but I show you that on the other uh, side and I also made a um, thing to go here but it was uh, the album too thick so <laughs> it doesn't fit in the drawer so it's a uh, uh, light bowl here and uh, and um, cork here that I also uh, rusted so if you see these uh, light bulbs here, they can be a bit hard uh, to uh, color and I take a bit of um, um, crackle uh, accent over and let it dry and then you can smear some uh, some paint or what you like uh, uh, ink or something over so it's supposed to go here <laughs> so I'll take it out and here for the next page, I see something has loosened here. <laughs> oh, I think it's supposed to go here. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's been a while since I made this album, so don't remember all I've done. But uh, this is a stamp set. So, and uh, here I'm not sure. I don't remember the name of this, but you hopefully see you. It's a movers and shapers style from Tim Holtz and some gears here. I can put the photo behind here. And here it says, You the one who makes me the way you see me. So, and here is a little tag. And uh, here I use some acetate with, uh, and I went over with some ink. And uh, this is also a stamp. Let's see if I can get it loose here. So here it holds a tag. That's the other side. And another tag from the paper here. So this goes inside here. Put them inside so I know myself where it's supposed to go. So like so. And uh, here's uh, another page. It says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Well, that's true. And here's a little tag here. And um, here's another tag. There's some spinners that holds this. So, you can do some journaling or something. So. And this uh, flips down like so. And this is also a step from Tim Holtz. And uh, here is a ribbon and a uh, acetate pocket and uh, here is a railway uh, cross or yeah. So this goes here. So I'll just put this inside here. here. Here is also a stamp from Tim Holtz and I cut out uh, from the Lux, uh, Love Stuck the wings here and put on him and some gears in, uh, and it's a birdcage here and some gears here behind. So it says art drawing and uh, this opens this way. And it uh, says here, life is the art of drawing without an eraser. So, I think that was that. <laughs> Don't remember myself what I'm done here. So, for the next page here, and this is a new locket here. And here it says, um, it's not who you are that holds you back, it's who you think you are not. So, it's a lot of quotes to think about from his uh, stamps. So, and here is a compass and uh, crunched up a little tag here and another tag. This is a top, um, this comes with a bottom here so you can slide in um, 
photo or something, so I just used the top here. So, and here is a little clock. So, time flight. A little image here. And here is a double slider. Like so. So here you can put some pictures or so. And here it says, when was the last time you did something for the very first time? So, just put this back, so... Like so. So now for the next page here. So, so here is a tick-tock clock with a hand here, and uh, here it says love, and uh, maybe I forgot something here. Yeah, I forgot, forgot to show you this fold out here on this page here. So this folds out like so. The journey is never truly, let's see. Over. It's just change course. So I can place a photo behind here. And this is a ribbon. So it's a lot of uh, things going on here. So here it says uh, love and a little tag here. Like so. Just plain. And um, this opens like so. So you can place a photo here. And um, this uh, other side of the slider with some gears and so. And um, put this in here. here is a stamp uh, set that I layered. So I cut it out and uh, colored them. And um, I can take this uh, first off here. This is uh, Movers and Shapers uh, globe die. So here is a little envelope that I just made from the paper. So a little postcard inside here. And a little ticket here it says story. So it's just a plain tag it goes behind here. And here it says uh, one of the advantage of being disorderly is that one is const constantly making exciting new discoveries. So this goes behind here. Now for the back page here. Here's a pocket watch uh, die again, and um, uh, here's um, from a soda box that I embossed, and here's a keyhole and also embossed, and um, little tags that goes behind here. Some acetate here. So I think I forgot to. Show show you, yeah, here is a little hand. <laughs> so this is also from a stamp set, so I cut it out twice, so it goes inside here. So this was my album and uh, my project for the uh, suitcase lap. So I hope you like it. I uh, had a really good time making it, so had so much fun. Uh, I will now show you how you can make this arrow shape and it's a nine and three quarters long from this tip down here to this tip here and it's a three over here and it's six over here and here. So we start with a, just a plain paper, copy paper or something. It's best if it's a bit uh, thick so it is uh, sturdy. So. And we can start with uh, drawing a line 
from one and a half inch like so and then we make one more line so I will post all these uh, measurements on my blog and also the pictures of this and the link below if you like to see it so then we can start off um, making three inch or we can maybe take uh, nine and uh, three quarter inch here like so maybe take it a bit up so I'm in frame here so draw a line over here so so this we won't use and then we go in three inch here make a mark and draw a li line over here like so so no that was wrong <laughs> draw a line all the way down <laughs> like so so <laughs> That will be correct and then we can measure in uh, two and one quarter here from this line here out and then take a line here to the end here like so and now we want one more shape in here so we go in seven eight of an inch you can take an inch if you like to make a mark so now we go all the way down here so I'm not a good drawer but uh, when I want to make shapes it's very easy to do it when you fold your paper in two and then you get it the same on both sides so now I just need a scissor and cut it out so now we cut with the lines we made I see I forgot one line we have to have one down here as well so we can make a three inch mark here as well should be correct <laughs> I think I got some glue on my scissors here <laughs> so now we cut this down here line here and cut out this line here so now we have got the shape and uh, this was the same I uh, used uh, for um, uh, for uh, the tag I made if you saw that video and I think I copied it down about 75 to 75% or 70, I'm not sure. And I made it maybe a quarter inch so uh, uh, wider here because it became a bit uh, small here. So I just uh, draw a, a line on the outside so it became a bit wider. So um, this also can be used as a now I'm not sure what it calls, a racket <laughs> in Norwegian. <laughs> I will post it in the screen. So, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching and have fun creating everyone. Bye bye.